some kind of beacon. I might have to report this one. Looks like it could have been some kind of rescue at sea. Can't even read. Yeah. Hasa Europe. Ham. Ham. H A M. R. U. Looks like a P. Crikey. Yeah, I should report this one, I think. The light is actually still on in the bulb. Uh, I haven't been here for a couple of weeks, so it could have washed up any time between then and now. But interesting find. We can sell the this one, the buoy, or the buoy, on eBay. This one's very interesting. I've never found anything like this before. I better try and get it back with us. We've got about two miles to climb this way now against the tide. So it could be a um, very, very cool mission actually coming up. Right, let's go to first person again and I'll put this in my bag and we'll find a way of carrying this one. You never know what's going to wash up after a storm. Like I say, I've never seen anything like this before. So it's got like a beacon on it. Maybe it was used in a rescue or something. So we'll definitely report it when we get back. See if there's any uh, follow-up video to it. This next bit is all in the timing.
Well, we're nearly back, guys. I just found another boy. That's a huge one. A great sausage. I want to see if I can free it up. Um, tell you what, I'm knackered carrying this thing back. I had to turn the camera off. I just couldn't climb with it and record at the same time. Uh, right, I'm going to try and free this one up. And then we, we're nearly back. That's those goose barnacle things. Nasty little buggers. They stink as well. They absolutely stink, something rotten. Ah, that's annoying. I can't take that back, guys. It's got those creatures on it. They'll stink. Really stunk, guys. Really, imagine real, like rotten fish and cat food that's been left out in the rancid for months. And that's the smell. Ugh, I can still smell it. <laughs> oh, there's another boy. What the heck is going on today? It's like a reunion. There's the sun setting on another day. It's only half past two. It's amazing how little light we get this time of year. But I'm happy. The shortest day's gone. That's gone and passed. Now it's going to get lighter the evenings. And we're two coves from home, which I'm very happy about. NY295R. It makes you wonder if all this paraphernalia is related to this life ring, perhaps. There's another one there. Smashed a bit. More firewood. Another jumper down here. What is it? No, it's a carpet. This as well, I had a flashed feeling then that could be a, like a carcass or something. But it's not. It is, it is a carpet. I might as well have a little poke around while I'm here. You never know what gets washed up in these places. Little treasures. Amazing little cove this is. Absolutely incredible here. Seems to trap an awful lot of stuff this cove the way it is. Anyway, let's move on. We'll scan the shoreline. We'll go up to the high tide line and then look back. High tide line will be from the previous week. It's been high, so it's probably going to be up. Let's find the last bit of actual seaweed. So it's around, around about here, I'd say, would be the high tide line. So let's have a poke about, see what's been washed up. Ugh. See so what, a couple of weeks back when I was here, these rocks were so slippery. It had rained before I got here. And they were lethal. I'd never, it was honestly like walking on ice. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's see. Hmm, surprisingly there's not been anything washed up. I'm always on the lookout for messages in bottles and stuff. I think they're pretty cool to find. A lot of the time they only they come from like a little way down the coast, so the people are properly disappointed. They sort of throw them in and they wash about five or ten miles down and then wash up on this coast. And they're always gutted. I always reply to them. It's always good to write. The last one was on my YouTube channel. And it was uh a couple of school kids threw a, a bottle off the cross-channel ferry, of all places. They'd filmed it, 
actually them throwing it in but I'd lost the video I was going to put it all together that would have made a real cool uh, video thing there anyway, I'll put the link on it you can click on it and watch it it's not the best video but hey ironically no sooner do I power off than I actually see a message in a bottle <laughs> I think it is anyway it's got a uh, ah it's got some kind of rude drawing in it <laughs> Oh no, it's not. It's a love thing with a boot. I wonder if there is a message on the inside. Let's have a look, guys. Ah. Annoyingly, I can't get out without tearing it, so I'm going to have to take this home and cut it open. But I, I can see it's, it says something inside. Sent from Cornwall. I can probably read. <laughs> if found, please add Facebook and tag a photo. That's that me? <laughs> That's cool. I will do that later. <laughs> this is proving to be quite an interesting video today. I don't know if it's more treasure, but. I have read about these fish tags and stuff. I doubt it is. I'll investigate that when I get back. I've heard there's big money in finding these tags. Uh, I don't know. I doubt it's worth anything. It doesn't say anything about if found return to. Well, I couldn't see anything, guys. I scanned the area. Nothing leapt out at me. I'm going to take a mosey on back now. I'm absolutely starving. I haven't eaten today. <sighs> Ate last night. About 10 o'clock. Filled my tank. Uh, I'm depleted now. So we're going we're gonna to head back. And we're going to check out that message in the bottle and the life ring. Very cool video today. I don't know if you can hear me over this uh, incredible noise, but this is the cove. This is the cove where the message in the bottle ended up. It must have come in through here because this is the only in channel. There's some amazing waves. A second ago, they were just huge. Now I've turned the camera on, they've stopped. There we go, on cue. So it must have come in here and washed up. It was right up the top there. It's a good landing point. I found it. I don't know where you throw it in yet. I haven't been able to open it. But I'm just heading back now. So this is, this is just past Talon Bay in Cornwall. I can see your message also came from Cornwall. I can see inside the bottle to read a little bit. Uh, so I don't know if it's travelled very far. But I can always throw it back in again. We can do like a chain, a chain messaging bottle letter that just goes round the world probably. Anyway, I'm, I'm hungry and I'm heading back now. But this is an amazing cove, considering it just came through that little gap. That's the only way in here. Remarkable. <laughs>